Oh, I guess this is take two since uh, the wife recorded a little over the first one and deleted it. <laughs> um, as I was saying last time, the, what is it? The beans over there are a little water starved. It's been really hot over here. And I haven't put on any mulch yet. And even though it seemed like there was some moisture still in the soil, they seem to be burning out pretty bad. So we'll go over some of these in a second after I get this water container down. Maybe she won't step in the ant pile either this time. Watch out for that onion that you almost stepped on. All right. So I was saying these beans, the leaves have already toughened up a little, but they were pretty wilted before I put the water on them. Um, have some sort of predator pressure on some of the plants it looks like and I don't have any way to prevent them. This was a cucumber. I was about the size of that one over there and there is no more cucumber on this one. Something came by and said yummy yummy cucumber. So sometimes you grow things uh, for God's creation and not necessarily yourself. <laughs> But here's the cucumber, and the leaf is still a little, little flimsy. It shouldn't be that flimsy. It means it needs water bad. And if you don't get it water soon, it ain't going to make it. This row is the kale. We've gotten some decent germination on the kale. Some of them are starting to throw their real leaves. There's supposed to be a row of broccoli in here, but I see maybe one broccoli. So I might have to reseed the broccoli. I don't think I watered in the right spot when I was watering them, uh, so that was my bad. The next row is supposed to be bok choy. There's a few little germination, but not on that, so I might reseed the bok choy as well. And then the ant hill, the wife stepped in, are near. And then the radishes. And the radishes, it's almost impossible. Did not get great germination on radishes, so... We got good germination and they're starting to throw real leaves and the cilantro didn't come up. So I might have to reseed the cilantro. Although that's my own seed that I got and not, not that I bought. I s harvested some seed from our spring uh, cilantro that we got, you know, from one of the big box retailers. So I'm not totally sure if the seed's good or if this didn't keep it watered well enough. That may be one, I don't know. And then we'll go back over here and I'll pretend to plant this onion again. So we got an onion from our kitchen scrap. And as you can see, we had it in some a little bowl of water and it's developed some, some pretty good roots. It hasn't sh sh put any leaves out yet. Oh, but I see a little teeny leaf starting. So anyway, I was figuring it's time to get it in the soil. So I had dug a hole and I had placed my onion about like so, so that all the roots are in. Sort of the top is like a crown. And then somewhere right here, yep, right there, I did the same thing for a shallot that I'm not sure is going to make it. It's got a little couple baby roots, but it's pretty soft and mushy, like it's starting to rot. So I don't know if it will actually come up. And then, because it's been so hot and we're going to be away for a week, my game plan to keep everything moist is that I'm going to water, soak this all in really well, probably use uh, 7 to 10 of these buckets, soak it all in real well, and then rake up some of all these this leaf and debris that I had moved out of the way to get planted and put that back around all the stuff that's starting to grow without covering the actual plants and then probably soak 
try and soak the leaves with a couple more containers of water. And hopefully that'll keep enough moisture in the ground and it's not 100 plus degrees next week that will come back at the end of the week and our garden won't be dead. <laughs> and then the other thing I've started since uh, the last video is I convinced the wife that uh, carbon is life and carbon is everything and she's saving kitchen scraps now. So I got a pile of kitchen scraps under there on a bed of leaves, kitchen scraps, some uh, cut up tree. And technically I should have some manure in this, but um, we're not really saving our own manure. And I don't have ready access to any chicken or other manure that's not contaminated with uh, Grazon or some other of those forever chemicals. So I'm just gonna compost the way David the Good would, just throw stuff on. Um, I'll probably use an ash pile or throw some ashes from our barbecue next time on here as well, sprinkle it in instead of just throwing it there and just keep building up uh, debris layer, food layer, debris layer, food layer. And if, even if all it does is become a giant uh, insect and worm farm, that's great too. And this has been the Bayou Gorilla Gardener. <laughs>